Ladies and gentlemen. Do you mind? Don't touch that guy. They are not men. They are not geek. You opened it. We came. Oh, these kids today. When I wore that number, it was classy. More flashy made it be than motorcycle said it. Pop over to the universe next door and pick it up for me. We are so doomed. There's nothing to worry about. You're gonna be just fine. First, I've got a little surprise for you. We have waffles. Great actual physical contact! Well, that's close enough. Enough! Become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it. No more games. You see this in bad television. What was that? It was bad. You know I have a shoulder in my knee, you know? And it must pop, pop, pop! So from five to seven, will you please act like you have more than a two-word vocabulary? It must be green. Would help if I had my microphone down. This is Raving Rendell, sitting in the frozen rain of... Mankato, Minnesota. I've asked for snow mainly because I want snow to fall and in such a time that I'm not really actively driving because when I go back to work I have to go it's not very long but I have to go on a state highway across the bridge and in good weather people are a bit of an ass on it and in bad weather I can just imagine what they're like I haven't ever had to make that drive during the winter so yeah I'm I'm just kinda hoping that it snows before I have to go back to work or at least if it if the if it's just frozen rain you know that's I don't like that because that's ice and that will that could be far more dangerous but if it's ice it's ice at least if it doesn't give us a dumping of snow which I don't think it will at this point if it doesn't give us a dumping of snow then hopefully it will be that it'll just be ice which again not what I want but if it's what I get it's what I get I want to make sure that I can go drive and know that people will be at least semi-decent in how they drive. That's my big thing. If it's snow, fine. If it's rain, fine. I don't care if it's raining fucking puppies. As long as people have enough time to drive that they are good with it by the time I need to drive at 9 o'clock in the morning to go to work. I don't give a shit about driving at night. I drive at night all the time. My thing is the job I'm applying for is in the evening and actually what I'm thinking of doing because I don't have Gunther's anymore is Monday to Friday maybe work uh, 1 to 6 or like noon to 5 or something like that. Just give myself a couple of, you know, or even 10 to, even 10 to uh, 3. Just give myself another hour to wake up because in, some, in fall when I was working before, I just ended in October, uh, October 31st. Yeah, it was chilly, but it was nice and bright. It's been overcast for about four days now. It's chilly. I, th- I don't know how often my... App, you know, yeah, it looks like it's updated recently. Updated at 437. And it says 33 degrees right now. So it's just... I don't know what the hell that is. It's just cold enough that it's... It's not snowing, it's raining. But it's so cold that the rain is freezing. Even I went in and I did some uh, exercise. I went to the mall. We have a mall called the River Hills Mall. It's a fairly decent size. Uh, one of my dad's favorite exercises during the winter 
is to go to the River Hills Mall and walk around four times. I don't know if that's a mile or whatnot. I, I don't know. But I set it for an hour. So I walked around the mall for, an, I think it was four and a half, five times that I made it around. So it's a fairly good size mall. And then I went over to the gym and they have this, I don't know what the machine is called. It's an, an abdominal machine where you sit down and you bend. And when you're doing it, there's this thing in front of you. There's this pillow attached to a bar. And when you bend, you're pushing down on it and it's lifting weights. And my goal was to do it for 15 minutes. Unfortunately, the way I was keeping track via my, uh, I was keeping track via my, uh, my uh, cell phone. I was listening to things. And because of where it was, when I went, when I bent down, it would screw it up. So I think I got about six minutes in, which is still... It's not bad. So, I can, it's, it, what was it, 15 kilograms? There were two weight systems. One was at 110 pounds, and the other, and that was just pure weight. I think the second was uh, pressure, and that was at, that was at maximum. So, and I, once I figured it out, I was see, I'd seen a picture where you curl your hands up and you grip the back of the thing and you use it for weights. Well, what I did, and I did start doing it, but it seemed a little defeating. So what I did was I put my hands under my legs, and when I bent down, if I needed, I touched my I touched my knees with it. So I bent almost so that my stomach was so that I was bending almost flat. And I kept my hands under there. That way, if I needed help, bring, I'd bring my hands up. And there were bars where you couldn't move your feet, but at least it would brace me so I could do it. And that's, yeah, I I really do enjoy doing that. I just don't know how much... Uh, Oh, and I got a walking partner. Um, the lady who organized the skeptics group that I'm a member of, who lives in Wasika, uh, is a healthcare worker. Well, I live next to what is called the Madison East Mall. It used to be a, it's now called the Madison East Center. It used to be a fairly good sized mall. It's not as big as the River Hill. It's about maybe half the size of the River Hill, but that was the Hilltop Mall when I lived here as a kid. And one of the things I'm very proud of, we had the Massanese Mall on the Hilltop, and then we had the Plaza Four downtown. Both malls are no longer malls. They're centers, but they have, like, downtown has, like, environment or has governmental stuff like the uh, housing authority is down there social security is down there we have lawyers down there uh, we have a couple of shops in each of them but more or less it's office space and mom and I talk about there every now and then I said this is the thing if the four if the plaza four mall especially was just vacant that would be heartbreaking that is a nice size mall but the fact that both of them are still being used. Yeah, the one up here is mostly health and fitness. Uh, there's a little church that's over there. Um, yeah, as long as they're being used, that's my thing. I don't want to see malls like that just sit empty. That's one of the problems I was having in Nowhere. Is there were We had a mall that Maylind and I lived above. And it was really getting to the point that uh, it was really getting to the point that they were having very they were having holes in it there were storefronts that just weren't being used so yeah it's it's kind of oh and uh, 
it's all about Dan from this Dan uh, no no Dan from the all about it's all about me podcast is a regular listener to chaotic ravings the show we do on pride 48 and he he lives in uh, Arizona I think it's Mesa Arizona if I remember but he uh, said it's 81 here after I was just complaining that I'd rather have snow and not freezing rain he does that all the time so uh, yeah it's not I'm actually my dad wanted to walk around the river hill with me and I may do that on days when uh, the hell I had something on top of my glasses that just fell it didn't fall on my glasses I don't know where it went now I found it and I don't know what it was so we'll just throw it away but yeah, I'm doing very good. I weighed myself at a sc- at a scale in uh, the River Hill, and it said 190 pounds. But I was wearing my denim jacket, which has a lot of stuff in the pockets and shoes. So, and I weighed myself earlier and it said about 185, which is good, because when I started working out, in uh, I started, well, I didn't start working out. I started uh, watching my calories in March. Or in April, because in March I went to the doctor. I go twice a year. In March I went to the doctor, and they basically said, yeah, uh, you're at 238. I was one of the heaviest I had ever been. I was about 230, 238 pounds. And so I had just joined the Pride 48 fitness group. Uh, I had done some, a cup, they have like ab challenges and stuff like that. And I had done a couple of them, but more, the thing I was in it for more was just for finding out what people are doing to lose weight. Well, one program that was mentioned very early on is a program called lose it. It's a calorie counter and it's not the best. Uh, some things you have to fudge on, like if I go over and have a bacon cheeseburger at Mystic Lake Casino like I did, well, then I have to find a bacon cheeseburger. Uh, they're obviously not going to have the casino. But if I go to, like, Perkins, you know, if Perkins or Embers or Ruby Tuesdays has a, has a bacon cheeseburger. You know, I'm not talking like Wendy's or something. But if they have a bacon cheeseburger, I will choose that one. You know, if I'm going someplace that's fairly nice, then I will, and they don't have the, and they're not on lose it, I will go to, I will look up someplace fairly nice for what I report it as. As of this morning, I said I weighed 180, 185. I've been around 178 to to 190. Uh, it depends on why I'm eating. I'm not eating healthy tonight. I'm eating a couple of pieces of uh, pizza. And the whole reason for it is the fact that I want to get it out of the fridge. These were the last two pieces. I wanted to eat them. I don't like throwing stuff away. And it's th- it's hand-tossed crust, which is something that keeps very well in the fridge. The crust doesn't do so well. I'm not going to worry about the crust today. The crust isn't so good. But the pizza keeps very nice it doesn't get really hard so it's a good thing to get now i'm not going to do it for probably until the end of the year now or at, till next year now or i might start getting smalls or mediums you know so i can you know only go two days on it i just i want to get I want to stay under 200 and ideally under 190, which I still am. I'm still under 190. In fact, I've got enough light. Sorry, I keep forgetting to get WD-40. So I will get some WD-40 when I go to Walmart again, which I have to do on Sunday. Oh, it's still, it's about 183. So 183 or 184. So it's not 190, but it's about 184. So, but the idea is, I went over the river hills. I walked for an hour, then I did the ab machine. Then I came back to Ornest Plaza where I live, and it's it was uh, 
it's a uh, senior living home or it 